Hi everybody, Nathan here. Welcome to your workout. We're going to do single leg springs and warm up today. Now when I talk about these springs, I'm going to speak about tension. I'm going to say light, medium and heavy. You may have extra heavy too, depending on which machine you have, and that's okay. I'll just include that in the heavy section. So in your warm up today, we need three springs. And I recommend two heavies and one medium. Now in this exercise, the more tension you have, the harder it is. And the less tension you have, the easier it is. So you can decide what you like. All you need is the ring. You get to lie down on your back. You're gonna bring your left toes to the bar, right foot in the ring, single leg pushing out, and then bend the knee to come back in. Let's get a big range of motion through that left leg, full extension of the leg. Nice light hamstring stretch on the right leg as you move out. Now we're going to keep this movement pattern going for about 30 seconds. And there's no rush here. So it's going to ease into this workout today. Now I hope you had a fantastic day so far. I'm really excited about creating a whole bunch of videos for you to enjoy anywhere when you have time and a reformer to yourself. So next time we push this leg out, we're going to hold it straight. I want you to allow your ankle to sink as far as possible underneath that foot bar. Press back out through the calf, bend the knee to come back in. So we're going to hold that leg straight. So one straight leg calf raise and then come back. Now we're looking for full range of motion through your ankle. Now everyone's got a different level of flexibility. You can see here with my right leg, not that straight and that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. So if you do lots of running, if you're tight through the bottom of your feet, the calves, hamstrings, it's going to look like this. Everyone, we're going to keep this up for another 30 seconds and then we're going to focus just on the calf raise. And I just want you to really focus on releasing as far as possible you may want to take the ball of your foot slightly higher on the bar so it gives you a bit more leverage and support when you allow your ankle to sink underneath. All right, everyone. Now, next time we go out, we're going to keep the leg completely straight. Just let that ankle sink and then press. So it's just that calf raise. Let's go low and out. Let's go for seven, six, Five, you got this. Four, three, two. Round well done. All we're going to do is let the right hand here. So I've got my left foot on the bar. Right hand goes behind the shoulder pad. Grab the post. So you can let this leg fall across your body. Let that ankle sink deeper underneath the bar and look the other way. Option to let your right arm fall out to the side and just twist across here. So stretch through the lower back, the glutes your calf. That's it. And let's bring it back to the centre and we're going to switch. Left foot in the ring, right toes to the bar, single leg pushing out. Big range of motion. Let's go bend and extend. Great. Awesome everyone. So we're going to go through a full body workout today. If you're looking for music recommendations for your workout, I've got playlists connected through my Instagram, you can find the link through there. And I like to have my playlist upbeat to match the heart rate in the workout. So I pick one that suits you. And just enjoy this big push right now. So toes are wrapped wide on the bar. Leg press is straight, completely straight. All right, next time we push out, hold. Let that ankle sink as far as possible underneath. Press and then bring it in. So one straight leg press, one calf raise, bring it back. Tempo is your choice. No rush though. Don't have to go at any pace here. You can go slow if you like, go quicker if you want to, that's all right. All right. It's a nice combination of that stretching sensation and that press. 
Let's go for another turn, everyone. And then we're just going to go just the calf raise. Let's go three, two, one. Last one. Let it sink as far as possible under and then push under and press. Let's go for seven. Big pushes. Six, five. You can do it. Four, three, two. Last one. Let it sink underneath. Now the left hand. Left hand goes behind the shoulder pad. Grab the post. Let this leg go across your body. So you can let that ankle sink deeper. And just nice twist. Maybe let that left arm fall out to the side. Open up here. And really relax into this and release. Well done. All right, let's bring it back in. Good job. We'll place that ring down on the left side. Legs over the bar, anchor the back of your knees, arms out wide to the side. Now we're going to sweep your arms forwards and roll up into a seated position, sitting as tall as you can. Then roll your spine all the way back to the bottom. So it's just like a teaser. Sweeping movement with the arms here can give you a little bit of extra momentum, which makes it slightly easier too. If you have dumbbells handy, feel free to use those. It'll make it a little bit harder, but still very achievable if they're fairly light. If they're quite heavy, I recommend keeping it closer to your center and going for an overhead press instead. That feels good. Otherwise, let's go back to this. If you like, we can try next time you're at the bottom. One leg lifted into tabletop, sweep it up, bring it back down, switch at the bottom. If you want something extra, both legs lifted, sweeping up into boat pose. Sweep it back to the bottom. Whichever one works for you. If you want something even harder than that today, legs straight, sweeping up. Bring it back down. a good challenge. Last one everyone. And relax. Well done. Feet on the bars, take a gentle twist to your knees to the left to the right. Let's take all the tension off the hip flexors, lower abdominals, stretch your lower back, glutes. We're going to get started today with a light lunge. So when I say light, I mean spring tension. I'm going for the lightest spring possible. Hardest option with this exercise would be no springs. And let's do that. I'm going to go. I'll do that today. So you're going to start off here. Left foot on the floor, inside foot on the shoulder pad, and the ring on your chest, standing tall. And reach the ring to the ceiling. And from here, we're going to tip that torso forward into a lunge. You'll notice with this lunge, I've got a long line from my head to my heel. Now I'm going to press the stand up. Uh, you'll notice with the spring options today, light springs, and the hardest option being no springs. That means then that spring tension is not the challenge. The challenge with this exercise is gravity. So body weight loading up through your leg. So our target muscle groups here on the side of your butt. And the moment you bend your knee and tip your torso forward, this is where you're going to start to feel it here. And then as you push the stand straight, locking your leg out, that's when you start to release that tension. Now, what we're going to do is change our movement pattern slightly. For this, I'm going to lower my foot bar. Now we're going to start at the top. This time your arm stays straight. We're going to sweep down to the outside of that left leg, rotate through the torso, sweep back up through the center. This is going to be a really good challenge for your balance and stability. And as you rotate your torso, you're going to feel a stretch in the left side of your butt in those glutes. It's a good challenge. It's a little bit of extra tension on those muscle fibers, considering they're already loaded up with your body weight here, and then we're getting a little bit extra out of them. So, if you want to increase that stretch, you can rotate the torso and your hips. 
and feel that stretch here if we bring it through. Now, on that stabilizing leg, you're also going to feel this down through your calf. So it's that involuntary muscle movement to the bottom of your leg, keeping you balanced. It's like fireworks going off, all those little contractions, keeping you upright. That tends to build up, and after a while, you might start to feel a bit of fatigue setting in, maybe a burning sensation down through the bottom of your calf there. So that's good. So our goal today is to be in every position long enough to guarantee a result from it. So I want you to feel that building of fatigue. Now if your muscles, if you start to shake a little bit, that means your muscle contractions are starting to fail slightly. And that's fantastic. That's what we're going for today. So let's keep this movement pattern going. Nice twist, sweep it back through. You can see this movement pattern, I go down through the center, then just in front of my body, I take it out to the side before I bring it back up. Awesome. Everyone just keep this up. We've got 50 seconds. Now I'm not wearing a watch here, so we might be there for longer than that. There's no guarantees. We'll just have to see what happens. Main thing is though, we're gonna have an outcome. We're gonna to get to that point. We're gonna feel that left leg, the calf, the glute. So we started off with a simple movement pattern. We've added in a little bit of a variation, which changes the intensity slightly. And we're gonna have a finisher at the end, which is gonna focus on the glute. Now it's 100% okay to stop at any moment. That is all good. But then we just reset and we restart. And we just keep going. Now remember with this exercise, gravity is the challenge. So that's why less tension is harder. Because that tension is essentially supporting you and helping you come from this bottom position. Spring tension will help you come back to the top. So without any springs, there's nothing supporting you here. It's just the effort of your body to bring yourself back. All right, everyone. Ready? We're going to hold it now. Ring to the chest. Roll the shoulders back. Stick the butt out. Let's reach the arms and the leg out. Bring it in. Is our scooter here. Slow and smooth. Find that distance. And see if you can really stick your butt out with your shoulders back. Now that's going to have more of a stretching feeling on that glute as opposed to letting the shoulders hinge forward. It takes tension away. So let's go. Last seven. Keep it slow, everyone. Reach out. Six. You got it. Five. Four. Three. Two and a half. Two. Everyone relax. Keep the ring. I'm going to get straight into chest work. We want to try and have effective transitions today. So spring tension will be heavy. Now I'm going to go a heavy and a medium spring for me. That would be the harder option. So feel free to go with a medium spring if you want. Harder will be heavier for this exercise. So short loops in your hands. So the palms of your hands grab onto the squishy pads here. And it's a heavy chest press straight in front of your body. Let it come back. Nice big powerful push. Now we've gone heavier the tension than normal today for this movement pattern. And that is because when you stay close to the center of your body, that's where you're the strongest. Not only that, we're also holding the ring, which also keeps everything together. So when you're pushing from your center here, you want to make sure you've got tension through the full range of motion. Otherwise, that's not enough tension for you. So if you feel like it's going slack in any moment, you need extra springs. Now, from here, can we add a hip thrust? Bring it back down, reset. Nice and powerful. Hip thrust, push. Come back in. So this exercise, you're going to feel it in your quads. So the front of your thighs, you're going to feel it in your chest, in your arms. The heart rate's going to lift. Breathing rate's going to lift. With this one, the faster you go, the harder it is. So, 
Don't hold back. Let's race, everyone. See if you can go faster than me. Let's go for about 60 seconds. Big, powerful pushes. Exhale with the effort. Drive out. Hips move forward as the arms straighten. Let's see if you can get full extension of your arms when you press. I want to feel that chest, everyone. Remember, our goal today is to be in every position long enough to get a result from it. When I say result, I mean get stronger. So we need to go from comfort to discomfort. Let's push that comfort zone. All right. Let's go, about 30 seconds to go. Now, if you've gone for heavy tension like me, you're guaranteed to feel it everywhere. Notice how when I press, there's never a moment where there's a lag, where the springs don't have tension. There's consistent tension, and that's what we want. Everyone, let's go. Last 10. Can we sprint to the end? Faster. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, we're gonna stay up. Two, stay up, ring to the chest. Now see if you can squeeze your butt, shoulders back, stay nice and tall. It's just a heavy push. Short and sharp, powerful. Out, let it come back. And let's go. Push. Now let's target on, those, on that chest a bit more. Can you stay with it, everyone? Now, if it's too much, you can come back to the knees or go for the long loops. But our goal is to try and push to the end. Let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, let's go. 4, 3, 2, and relax, everybody, and release. Hold on, spring tension is going to stay the same. We're going to lose the ring though. It's going to come to the floor on the other side. We're going to straddle this machine facing towards the back. Cross those straps over. Now, if you have short legs, what you can do is stand on boxes. If you are on a lower machine without legs, it will not be a problem. So we're going to lower the body down, and we're going to row as you stand up. Drop it, and row. So we're caught in some reinforcements here to keep this carriage still. Let's keep that same exercise going. Now, let's start off in a low squat position with your arms straight. From here, you're going to rise and row at the same time. So nice and powerful. Squeeze into your body. Now, we just did a heavy pushing exercise. Now, this is going to be heavy pulling. Another big full body movement. Very functional, multiple joints. So again, heart rate's going to lift. The faster you go, the harder it will be. Again, you want tension through the full range of motion. See how there's tension at the bottom here still? So that means the carriage isn't hitting the platform, and that's what you want. So if your carriage is hitting the platform, just step back a little bit. And let's go. Let's get this work. Get low with that butt. Power to the top. If your film is moving around a little bit, just like mine, that's all right. Stick with it, everyone. Keep going. 60 seconds here. As long as my reformer stays in frame, we'll be okay. Heart rate up. Powerful. 30 seconds to go. We're going to stay at the bottom. Let's go, everyone. Ah. 
Let's go five, four, ready to stay low. Three, two, get a low step back, just a little. That's just that pull. Everyone, do not stop. Do not stop. Need two 20, 20 kilo dumbbells over here. Stay low. Run, stick with it. Stay low. Squeeze and release. Can you get low with that butt? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Yes. Ropes go down, uncrossed, everybody. From here, we're going to get into some work for your hamstrings coming off those quads. Now I'm going to go heavy shoulder stand. So I've got two heavy springs and a light spring. Now, with this one, the heavier the spring tension is, the harder it is. So you can decide. Easy option would just be a heavy, a medium, and a light combo. It's going to start with just the hamstring press. So allow these hamstrings to stretch here. Try and keep your hips heavy on the carriage. And then we're going to push. All right, now the heart rate's going to start to drop here. We just had a big, heavy round with that heavy chest press and then heavy rowing. Anytime you're in a lying position on your back or on your side, heart rate will drop. So I've put this into our workout today intentionally. Now next time we come up, we're going to stop. Can you keep the carriage still as you can? And can you rise up to the ceiling? That's it. Let it come back to the bottom. As soon as your hips come back down the touch, everyone, that's hamstring press. So we're going to stop. And let's go high as you can. Right up. Bring it down. Hamstring press. It's like you're pushing up and forward at the same time into those straps. Which can be a challenge at the start to know when to push. But the main difference with this exercise is normally when people teach this, they do it with a light tension. And when I say light, I mean lighter tension being harder. And that changes your movement pattern. Because in that one, you want to allow your legs to move up over your body. Because you just don't have enough resistance from the springs to help you go straight to the ceiling. With this one, we've got so much tension here, you just go straight up. And the higher you go, the harder it will be. So, keep on playing with it. Look for that lift. Drive up. Bring it back down. Now, I noticed that in this workout today, the total amount of exercises we do will not be a lot. Probably compared to most workouts you do with the reformer. The reasoning for that is I want you to spend longer in each position. So you're gonna better your endurance just from doing more repetitions. You're also gonna increase your body awareness and your skill through more repetitions. So that way you can kind of guarantee a good outcome from it. Now Another way to make sure that it's suited to everyone's ability level is to offer a progression which is going to challenge your target muscle group more. So you've got the option to work harder here, or you can stick with the original movement pattern. Now, because this is our target muscle group here, and we work it as we go up. So we're going to go for two reps now. So straight up. See if we can come tap the hips straight back up. That's it. Bring it back down and then press. So that work to rest ratio has changed. Now we're going two up. Yes. And then one at the bottom. You really start to feel those hamstrings. It's starting to burn. That's what it's about, everyone. I want to get rid of that comfort zone. Now can you get alignment and elevation when you go up? Can you go straighter and higher? 
If you've got any way to get some feedback, if there's a mirror anywhere, check yourself out in this position. Are you straight and elevated? Good job. Now, we just did two exercises before that that worked the quads, and now we're going the hamstrings. It's a nice way to even you out. It's not just the hamstrings. You're gonna feel this all the way down your back too. Through the lower back, through that pulling movement of the stretch, and then the squeeze and the press to lift. Everyone, let's go here for 40 seconds. Now it's pretty natural if you're starting to fatigue that your form might start to change slightly. Do the best you can to maintain the intention. The intention is vertical leg and big lift. All right, everyone, let's go. Another two. And up. All right, now we've got a challenge to finish. Can we just go up and down for 10? Straight up and down, everyone. And let's go up. Let's go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, let's go. Three, two, let's go. One more, one more. Up and relax, everyone. Now transitioning, short loops in the hands, legs to tabletop. Arms straight and it's pull downs. So we want to try and prevent stopping when possible. If we look at the entire workout, definitely if you're ever live in class with me, my intention is to absolutely minimize transition time so we just do not stop. That also has a big impact on the results. If you look at total calorie burn and time spent working. Now see how we go. Spring tension is very heavy here, so you may prefer to stay like this, and that is 100% fine. So you're gonna feel this in your upper arms, and your lats, those back muscles, lower chest here, and abdominals as you pull, and exhale as you pull. And this is gonna be a strong option I'm about to give you. If at any moment you prefer to hold the long loops, that will make it easier, because that will reduce the amount of stretch on the springs. So in this exercise, stretching the springs is the actual key to increasing this tension. You'll notice back when we did that chest pressing movement, when we lifted the hips, the distance the carriage moved was different. It moved the carriage back more. So that means it was stretching your springs more. So that's why it was harder to do that. So, if you want, everyone, stick with this. Otherwise, can we add on a really powerful crunch? Head, neck and shoulders lift and release back down. Now you may need more space from the shoulder pads. You can play with that. It is heavy, so it's not suited to everybody. So if you want to make it a little bit lighter, that's all good, go for it. Now next time you pull down, See if you can tuck the knees into the chest. Creating a nice ball here. And now as you release, you can extend one or both legs forwards. I'm going with two. And then tuck it into that ball. Release. Squeeze. Release. This microphone is close to my mouth here. So, you probably hear me getting louder every time I come to this position. <laughs> That's all right. So it's this leg extension at the bottom, it's lengthening those abdominals and then we shorten, contract, squeeze at the top, hold, relax. It's tough everyone. If you need to take a break, that's all good, but remember, our goal today is results. That's why we're here. We want to push that limit, we want to feel it. Our goal is to feel it here, in those abdominals. My six pack muscles, those muscle fibers for an orientation point. If you're standing upright, they run vertically. So when you contract them, they shorten. It's allowing you to lift your head and shoulders like this. If you want to make this harder today, 
Keep the shoulders elevated. Same movement. Everyone, let's go. 40 seconds to go. Work with it. Exhale the effort. Embrace the struggle. All right. 20 left. Maybe keep the legs straight. Shoulders lifted. Let's go. Let's do it, everyone. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, relax. Okay, now you can keep the same spring tension. We're flipping it. We're going to work the back side of your body. Just do the abdominals. We're going to go back to either side of your spine and the back. Now, I've increased my spring tension. You can keep it the same if you prefer on those two heavies and a medium, or you can go heavier too. Now we're holding the knots. I've got my legs crossed it's because of the width of my calves. It's more comfortable for me. You want your butt as far back as possible on the carriage here. Remember these ropes are crossed and we're holding the knots. That's key everyone, not the short loops. We're gonna do a nice big forward hinge. And then roll it in. Release down into that stretch. Wrist the rib cage when you pull. It's like a big rowing machine. Now, all the spring tension is just relative to you, because everyone has a different body. So if you've got heavier body mass, it's gonna affect it. What I mean by that is, for every exercise, all the spring settings are standardized. So they're designed for a certain body mass and a certain height and length of body, which is the average or the mean. So if you are outside of that, if you're much heavier or much lighter or much taller and much shorter, then you're not gonna get the same experience as everyone else, which is 100% all right. This means we need to modify your springs so you get the same outcome. So. I can keep this going. I'm going to put all the springs on everyone. I want more tension here. So you do you, whatever you like. Now really see if we can maximize both positions. See if you can get more of a hinge at the bottom, more of a stretch, and then more of a pull. If you need to get extra range at the bottom, soft bend of the knees here will let you fold more. So whichever position works for you best, go for it. I'm gonna keep my legs a bit straighter. Now my legs do fit in this position when I'm a bit further back, so that's good. And let's go, it's heavy. So heavy tension is a very effective way to activate a lot of muscle fibers in a short period of time. We want that heart rate to stay up, everyone. And let's keep going, no rush, let's go 60 seconds. Stretch and right. Ooh, I'm shining, glowing, just like you. We want to be sweaty. We want this workout to make a difference, everyone. Now again, look at this. Through the full range of motion, there is tension here. So that's why we're holding the knots, so you can guarantee that you've got resistance in the entire range. And this is also gonna work in your grip strength, biceps and your back. Everyone, let's go, last 30. Push yourself. Everyone, let's go the last 10. You can keep this up, or if you want to make it harder, the last 10, shoulders back, stay upright, and just pull it in and release. Let's go, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, relax, everyone. Let it go down. 
All right. I'm going to go back to how we started with the light legs. So remember, lighter tension, less tension is more challenging. I had no springs on the first side, so I'm going to do that again. And we're going to start off right foot on the floor, inside foot and shoulder pad, ring to your chest to reach up. Then we're going to bring it to your chest, tip that torso forward, and then it's come back up. So we're completing both sides of the body. So we started off after the warm up. So that single leg, so that's unilateral, uni, one side, lateral of the body. So we're completing that now. In between that though, we had just lots of bilateral movements. So we use both sides of the body. So you had that chest press, also working the quads. Oh. We had the row, working the legs and the back, definitely heavy on the quads. We went into the heavy shoulder stand, both the hamstrings. Heavy pull downs with the option of the crunch and the leg extension, shoulder elevation, and then holding the legs straight. And then, we finished with more back, heavy attention, nice hinge at the waist. So we're back to the start now. Let's see if we can get those arms straight. We're going to sweep out to that right side, back through the center, up to the top. Heart rate's still elevated. See if we can get that back slightly here. It's by about breath. Bigger inhales. Nice twist, big stability challenge. Arm straight the whole way. Everyone's done a great job. So I'm really excited that you're training with me. We're gonna have a good time together, everyone. Do you know that my values are quality? I want really good movements that feel good, that are effective, that get results. And I have to put them together with a selection that's suited to people's ability level. We start off with an easy movement pattern and we build on it. so that everyone can get something out of it. All right. Let's go for another 50 seconds, everyone. No rush today. No rush. Big range of motion. Remember, see if you can get a stretch in your glutes. We're rotating the torso and the hips. Oh, and bring it back. That no spring is a good challenge right now. Now we want to keep the weight on the front leg. That's important because we're trying to challenge the right glute here. So sliding your body back with the carriage is only going to take weight off your front leg, which is not going to help us fatigue the right side of your butt. All right, everyone. Let's go last 20. And then we're gonna go for that light scooter. Let's finish strong. Let's get that composure. Everyone, let's go five, four, three, two. And bring it down, tip that torso, shoulders back. Stick the butt out and let's reach and let it return. Reach and let it return. Go, go, go. So on smooth, find that extension, find that rate, reach, that length. Oh, let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, almost there. 5, 4, 3, 2. Yes, everyone. Well done. That's a really good job.
ring can go down. Let's finish this off today. Gonna go one more exercise. Uh, you can keep the light springs back to the abdominals. We're gonna find ourselves in a half plank. Now I'm gonna stay with no springs here. But remember, you decide. The more tension you get now, the more support you'll get. So tuck the tailbone, push down through the forearms, hold this half plank. From here, we're gonna hinge at the shoulders, slide the carriage back, and drag it forward. What we're looking for is range of motion. We wanna go as far as possible and maintain that shape. Now, if you wanna go further without changing your springs or the setting you're on, you just take your feet out of the shoulder pads, walk your knees closer to the shoulder pads, come back here. Now it's gonna give you more range of motion. If you have a spring on here, it's gonna stretch your spring less. Which makes it harder. And remember, the slower you go, the further you go, the harder it will be. It's the last one today, everyone. 60 seconds here, we're gonna go for. Now see if you can prevent this sinking here. See if you can keep this tucked shape. So if I demonstrate tucking this shirt in, just see the curve that I can create. So as your body's a bridge here between the platform and the carriage, to try and prevent this, I want to try and keep it elevated. Push down through the forearms, keep the chest up. Slide away, bring it in. Thirty seconds, everyone. Let's go. Let's go for seven, six, five, four, three. Last one, everyone. Last one. Bring it back. Well done, everybody. We pushed it today. Now we've got a little bit of stretching to finish here. We can do chuck on a yellow spring. Now this one's gonna work really well if you've got a box. Now if your reformer doesn't have legs, it's fine. Because you're so close to the ground. In this position where we're elevated, I'm just gonna bring my hands to the floor. Let's see if you can start off with one knee on either side. Hands come down, gently slide out into an inner thigh stretch and relax. So if you have a box here, that is much better. But do what works for you today. So you can deepen your breath. Let your body relax into this. I might try going further backwards with my knees and coming onto the silver rails today. That's pretty good. Awesome. All right, bring it back to the front. Now, I'm gonna bring this bar back up. I'm gonna go blue for me, so it's about a medium. One foot to the floor, one knee on the carriage, elbows on the bar, drop into hip flexor stretch. And relax. Make sure that knee is rested. Drop it in. Slide away. Sweating, dripping everywhere. That's what we want. Okay, now we're gonna to transition to the other side. Both knees come down, hips back on the heels. So left hand is on the top left corner, right hand is under on this vertical part of your pole. So I want you to push with the top arm, pull with your bottom. You're gonna feel a stretch on the bottom side on your lats here. So the more you push and pull at the same time, the deeper you'll go. See so if you can get into this. That's good, and we'll switch it. Right on the top, right, left underneath. Push with the top, pull with the bottom.
Great. Let's go to the other side. Knee down, elbows down, drop it. Nice to get a good stretch after working out. Especially when we push it like we did. Our goal today was mechanical tension. So trying to stress those muscle fibers enough so they're going to adapt. It takes a lot of effort, high energy. And it's also good to kind of get the opposite at the end, that relaxation. So we're going to go back to the yellow. We've got one more today. You're going to love it. I'm going to stand at the front of your machine. Heels come against, well, they're flat on the floor, quads. Thighs against the bar, hands on the inside edge of the carriage. But it's just that yellow or the light spring. We're going to slide out and drop into the stretch. I see if we can get your torso lower than mine. See if we can really fold yourself and melt into this well. And just relax and release. Well done, everyone. You can come back in, reset, restack that spine. Maybe take this one down to the floor, soft bend of the knees, T compress your spine, gentle rock left to right. Let the top of your head hang completely to the floor. No tension in the neck or the shoulders, everything is relaxing here. I'm going to gently start to restack, roll. As you rise, arms go out wide to the side, reach to the ceiling. Like you're diving into water. Everyone, well done. Great job today. I'm proud of your effort. Now, you can repeat this workout as many times as you want. And you can always adjust the intensity with the spring settings you choose. So remember, every exercise, it's only either going to be more tension to make it harder or less tension to make it harder. So that challenge depends on gravity for less tension because it's less support or for more tension being the challenge, there'll be more springs, heavier springs. So as you get stronger, you can repeat this workout and you can change the intensity of your springs deliberately with intention to get progressive overload and to keep on improving over time. So grab a drink, have a great day, wherever you are. I look forward to seeing you in the next workout, everyone. Our calorie burn today would have been between 250 to 300, easy. So that's awesome. That's awesome for a workout. And I'll see you in the next video. Good job.